Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, but it is actually Saturday here. I'm in beautiful Cape Elizabeth, Maine at the Portland Headlight Lighthouse to talk to you about our composer today, who grew up not too far from here, Leonard Bernstein. Let's get started. So Leonard Bernstein was born in Lawrence, Massachusetts on August 25th, 1918 to Ukrainian Jewish parents Jeannie and Samuel Bernstein. And his name originally was Louis at the request of his grandmother, but his parents always called him Leonard, which actually became his legal name upon his grandmother's death when he was about 16 years old. Now Leonard's interest in music began at a very young age with his main focus being on the piano. Now unfortunately his father from the start did not support Leonard's musical interest, but as time went on he came around and did begin to support his musical efforts. Now from the very beginning of his training, Leonard was a natural at the piano, excelling throughout his teens and into his 20s. Now earlier, Leonard attended the Boston Latin School where he graduated in 1935. From there, he went on to study music at Harvard with various well-known artists, including Arthur Tillman Merritt, Edward Burlingame Hill, and Walter Piston. Now a short time later, in 1937, Leonard met Dimitri Metropolis, a conductor of the Boston Symphony. Metropolis went on to inspire a lot of Leonard's desire to become a conductor. It's noted that Leonard emulated a lot of Metropolis's conducting techniques, including conducting from the piano and without a baton. Now, after completing his time at Harvard, Leonard enrolled at the Curtis Institute of Music in Philadelphia, studying a multitude of things, including conducting with Fritz Reiner, piano with Isabel Vengarova, and orchestration with Randall Thompson. Now, after Curtis, Leonard moved to New York, where he worked transcribing music before enrolling at Tanglewood, the Boston Symphony Orchestra's Summer Institute, which took place in 1940. Now, from 1945 to 1947, Leonard conducted the New York City Center Orchestra, making himself known as a composer in addition to a conductor, traveling extensively across the U.S., Europe, and Israel, conducting many different ensembles. Now, the 1950s saw an extreme growth in Leonard's composing, specifically in the genre of musical theater. This began with his one-act opera, Trouble in Tahiti, a 1952 work that focuses mostly on a bored upper-middle-class couple and runs about 45 minutes. This was followed in 1953 by his quickly scored work, Wonderful Town. In 1956, his first large stage production in operetta called Candace was performed, written based on a novel by Voltaire. His second and most famous stage production, written with the assistance of choreographer Jerome Robbins, writer Arthur Lauritz, and lyricist Stephen Sondheim, was the extremely well-received West Side Story. Now, in 1959, Leonard took over as conductor of the New York Philharmonic, taking them on tours across Europe and the Soviet Union and garnering much acclaim during his tenure there. Now because of this commitment he did not have a whole lot of time to compose during the 1960s. His only two major works from that decade include his Kadish Symphony which was dedicated to at the time recently assassinated President John F. Kennedy and his Chinchester Symphony. Now in the early 1970s Leonard stepped down from his position as conductor of the New York Philharmonic but continued to tour with them specifically to Europe in 1976 and Asia in 1979. Some of his major works during this time period of the 1970s include a piece called Mass, a theater piece for singers, players, and dancers, a U.S. Bicentennial musical called 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, and an orchestral vocal work called Songfest. In 1980, Leonard received the Kennedy Center Honors Award and continued to teach, compose, and even produce TV documentaries. In 1985, the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences honored him with a Lifetime Achievement Grammy Award. In 1990, Leonard received the Premium Imperial, an international prize created in 1988 by the Japan Arts Association and awarded for lifetime achievement in the arts. Leonard used the $100,000 prize to establish the Bernstein Education Through Performing Arts Fund Incorporated, or BETA, shortly before his death on October 14th of that year. Now, it goes without saying that the sheer influence of Leonard Bernstein on the music world today was nothing short of phenomenal. In addition to his prolific music works, Leonard also found the time to write books about music. One is specifically entitled The Joy of Music was recommended to me by one of my professors. I encourage anybody wanting to dive deeper into the mind of this knowledgeable composer, definitely take a look at it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this yet another composer profile. I really enjoy making these and I really hope to continue making these into the future. So from Old Orchard Beach, Maine, see you next week. Take care.